sex, and the narcissist. Eight signs to be aware of. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to pull back the curtain on a topic many struggle to understand how narcissists use sex and intimacy to manipulate and control their romantic partners. As someone who has been in a relationship with a narcissist myself, I want to shine a light on the dysfunctional and sometimes abusive dynamics that can emerge behind closed doors when intimacy is involved. Though the start of a relationship with a narcissist can feel like a fairy tale romance, the fantasy quickly shatters once they have you emotionally invested through sex and their charming facade fades away. My goal here is to help you recognize the warning signs early so you can avoid being taken advantage of intimately by someone who sees you as an object, not a person. I'll reveal the narcissist's playbook when it comes to tactics like love bombing, lying about fidelity, pressuring you into unwanted acts, and using sex as a weapon to keep you off balance and hooked on their validation. Understanding how narcissists exploit physical intimacy is key to protecting your sense of self-worth if you find yourself in their manipulative web. The impact of their behavior can be traumatic and long-lasting if we don't see it clearly for what it is abuse by someone incapable of authentic emotional connection. Narcissists thrive on control and power over others. Unlike healthy relationships where sex brings partners closer together, narcissists use it as a tool to dominate and reinforce their superiority. From love bombing to infidelity and coercion, I'm going to uncover the motivations behind their destructive intimate behaviors. One love bombing, when a narcissist is pursuing a new source of attention and validation, they use excessive flattery, gifts, communication, and physical intimacy to hook their target. A tactic known as love bombing. They'll often proclaim you're their soulmate, the most beautiful person they've ever seen, that the sex is incredible, etc. This onslaught of praise and passion makes you believe you've met the perfect partner. Even though you barely know them, you crave the high of their attention and attraction. Once the narcissist secures your emotional investment and attachment through love bombing, their charming facade and grand gestures melt away. But by then the relationship dynamic is set. They now view you as a subordinate. They can manipulate through ups and downs in affection or intimacy. Two coercion and stealthy assault. One of the darker aspects of narcissists is their tendency to coerce partners into unwanted sexual acts through pressure, intimidation, or force. They feel entitled to get their sexual needs met on demand, regardless of your discomfort. This can escalate to outright assault under the guise of rough sex or pushing boundaries. If you confront them, they'll make you feel guilty for not being more enthusiastic or daring. You're left questioning yourself, wondering if their behavior crosses the line or if you're just too uptight. This form of sexual abuse chips away at your self-worth and trust in your own perceptions. 3. Triangulation Narcissists get off on making their partners jealous. One way is through triangulation flaunting past lovers or new romantic prospects to breed insecurity. They'll brag about sexual prowess, compare you unfavorably to exes, remind you they have other options. This intentional manipulation keeps you anxious and working harder for their affection. It also normalizes a lack of faithfulness early on. By keeping you in a state of uncertainty, it's easier for them to blur the lines of fidelity, for cheating and pathological lying. A narcissist's desire for validation far exceeds their capacity for monogamy. Many narcissists compulsively cheat and lie about it without remorse. But even when caught red-handed, they feel zero accountability. Narcissists think rules don't apply to them. They may have multiple secret affairs, online hookups, or one-night stands to get an ego boost. To keep their partner in the dark, they become adept pathological liars. When discovered, they'll downplay it as meaningless criticize you as crazy or controlling. 
or twist the facts to make you believe you're wrong. This deceitful behavior destroys trust and stability in the relationship. Five, withholding affection. Narcissists frequently withhold sex and affection as a way to maintain power and control in the relationship. They enjoy keeping you in a state of anxiety about where you stand. This withdrawal of intimacy is often used as punishment over small slights, real or imagined. So if you displease them somehow, they withhold physical touch or sex to keep you walking on eggshells, hoping to earn back their approval. It's ultimately designed to train you into obedience for fear of losing their validation or attachment. Six objectification and ego boosting to a narcissist. Their partners are possessions and status symbols, not human beings with emotions. The goal of sex is to gratify themselves and confirm how impressive they are. Your role is to admire and applaud their stamina, size, skills, not express your own needs or vulnerabilities. Sex becomes mechanical, focusing mostly on their pleasure while yours is an afterthought. Whether it's a boastful retreat into porn addiction or an emotionless series of exploitive sexual encounters, you're reduced to an object bolstering their fragile ego. Seven projection of insecurities. Ironically, narcissists' grandiose personas mask deep insecurities. To externalize their self-loathing, they project it onto you in cruel or degrading ways around sex and intimacy. For example, they may openly ogle others in front of you, making you feel invisible, or harshly criticize your appearance, performance in bed, or compare you to exes as not measuring up. This chips away at your self-confidence to make you dependent on their validation. No matter how loyal and enthusiastic you are as a partner, it's never enough. This is because their ugliness comes from within. Your worth is not determined by their warped perceptions and flawed emotional IQ. 8. The aftermath. The sexual relationship between a narcissist and partner becomes an endless cycle of idealization, devaluation, and manipulation. While they reap the benefits of an ego boost, the toll on the partner's psyche can be severe. Anxiety around sex and intimacy, questioning desires or sense of attraction, Depression from unfulfilling, one-sided sexual exchanges, body image issues or disgust after objectification is a conquest, increased insecurities, loss of sexual confidence, feeling dirty, used and worthless, confusion over consent due to sexual coercion, attachment to an abuser through trauma bonds, STIs or reproductive coercion through infidelity, Conclusion, I hope this video has helped shed some light on the stark reality behind sex and intimacy with a narcissistic partner. In the initial love bombing phase, it may seem passionate and communicative, but once bonded, the narcissist mask comes off. True intimacy requires openness, empathy, and putting a partner's needs equal to your own. Narcissists, on the other hand, use sex and affection as tools for control, ego gratification, and leverage. Recognizing these patterns for what they are abuse, not love, is key. That knowing sense that something is off and how you are treated is valid. Despite the narcissist's efforts to convince you otherwise through manipulation tactics, you deserve a relationship built on mutual care, trust and respect, not trauma bonds, projection of shame, or being exploited for sex. Learning to trust your own voice again is so important, as narcissists often silence and distort the perceptions of even the strongest individuals. Regaining your sense of self-worth comes with time, support, and distance from the narcissist distortion campaigns. But you can get there and reject their messages that somehow you deserve the pain inflicted. Your capacity to love authentically is a strength the narcissist resents. You don't have to let their dysfunction dim your light any longer. If any part of this video resonates with your experience, please know you have support and are worthy of real, 
meaningful love. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.